Amen. So, uh, <laughs> let me tell you about Malawi, man. What is going on here? Uh, I'm going to try right now to uh, quickly pull up this image. It's going to take me a minute because I'm, I'm on the, the other computer with what we're doing tonight. Guys, check this out. We now have officially started production in the Billy Jones Faith Taylor Shop. This is an amazing, amazing blessing. Okay. Now, as many of you all know, Billy Jones is a dear friend of mine, a precious brother. Check this out. There's uh, Pastor Thomas on the right there and uh, our main uh, production seamstress there that is uh, is going to be teaching others how to use this machine. Let me, and we're going to uh, get a couple of other machines for them as well as they increase and produce. Now, let me tell you about how how wise and prudent uh, the our partners are here. They decided to get this particular model of sewing machine because it is electric and manual. And so the reason they wanted this because of load shedding in the country where oftentimes the, the government just turns the electricity off to save money. That, but when that happens, they will not have to cease uh, or pause production. And so that was uh, their idea and their choice. And I'm just so like I, I, I received these pictures earlier today and I was just so thrilled. I was brought to tears. And even as I told uh, Billy's sister uh, when she said, oh, he would be so thankful and humble. And I said, yeah, you know, he would in his heart. But outwardly, we know he would literally be rolling on the floor laughing. And uh, it would take, uh, you know, he'd be having so much fun. It would take plastic surgery to remove the smile from his expletive face. Amen. All right. <laughs> So yes, praise God. Hey, uh, brother Jeremy, this is this is great here, man. And look, the uh, I mean, we we got to go. Um, Rachel and I are uh, we, we have to get over there this summer, man, to go uh, to go see everything in person. I am this week going to be preparing my uh, message to address them. They're going to have their annual their first annual conference here in this network, man. We just started this last year and it was actually last year around thanksgiving time the giving tuesday drive was to raise the funds to get this shop started now let me explain to you what this shop is going to do okay this clothing business uh, I'll, I'll explain it for you all that are just joining in on some of this stuff so when billy jones one of one of my best friends in the world I, i'll say my my best friend in the world of my whole life underneath Jesus Christ. And then now second to my wife, but Billy Jones saved my life many years ago. And I mean, I mean that literally through uh, by, by his ministry and his personal friendship relationship ministry. Uh, I, he saved my life my spiritual life, my life with Christ. And if it, if it wasn't for that, I, like, I was already saved at the time, but I was going through some stuff, man. And if it wasn't for Billy, I, I, I would not be here today. And, you know, by God's grace, I, I was at one time able to save his life along with a brother uh, named Tom Duddy. We went over to his house one day. Billy thought he had food poisoning because he was he had been thrown up all night, but it turned out that he had had a series of heart attacks, and we took him to the VA hospital, and he ended up having open heart surgery, and you know, I, like it, it was uh, it was a great uh, time of of bonding with Billy, 
uh, over those over those months, you know, helping him, uh, you know, with with just the things in his life. And I mean, even beyond that, uh, we just had, uh, you know, such a such a great friendship. We did music together. Uh, you know, we did ministry together. Uh, it's just, you know, just an amazing time. But Billy asked me one time. He said, Barry, do you think I'm actually being effective? He said, I, I wonder if I'm just wasting my time doing this stuff. You know, I don't have a big following or anything, you know, like I don't have, uh, you know, I, and I, I just don't know if I should be pursuing this. I just get attacked all the time from the enemy and stuff. And, and I said, well, Billy, I said, look, don't worry about any of that. Just keep on doing what you're doing. You're having fun in the Lord. Just keep doing what you're doing. And I said, you know, really, your ministry is probably never going to take off till after you die anyway. And I was just joking with him. When I said that, but it turned out to be, uh, I mean, apparently the way things are going, it turned out to be uh, maybe a prophetic utterance to him. Because after Billy Jones died, Brother Thomas, and you've met him on this program before, uh, if you if you want to go to the YouTube page and just scroll down, you can find some of uh, Thomas Mpenga's messages that I've brought him on this platform for you to meet. OK, but uh, Thomas had reached out to Billy Jones ministry page after he heard that he had gone on to glory. And he was just so excited to speak to somebody who had actually knew, known Billy Jones when he was alive. And I was thrilled to talk to him because he told me that even though he had gone to a, a small Bible college in his, you know, in his region, in the world there, that it was actually Billy Jones who really taught him the gospel through, you know, private messaging, video chats, and sending him recorded messages and even, you know, some of his worship music. And Thomas was telling me how he would translate his messages uh, to his little congregation and. Uh, even play some of Billy Jones' music there for the people in Malawi. And they loved worshiping God with Billy Jones. And so I was so thrilled about this, and I learned a little bit about the country of Malawi. And I asked Thomas, what, do you th what can I do for you to help you? What can I do to help you? And... Thomas said, "Oh yeah, you know if you if you got some teachings and stuff, you know that would be uh, that would be beneficial for us." And I and I was trying to get across to him that I was asking what what I could do to help them financially because I learned that even though Malawi is one of the most hospitable nations in the world, it's also one of the most impoverished. And so, with Malawi being one of the most impoverished nations in the world, I saw how difficult it seemed to do relief work there among the people suffering, uh, you know, in the immense states that they are with uh, annual floods and so forth. Uh, and with the, uh, you know, just the infrastructure of the nation and their monetary unit is roughly 1000 to one U S dollar. So it's a, uh, you know, just very, very poor country, very impoverished but they're free and they don't have much fear holding them back from anything. And so I asked Thomas, well, you know, no, I'm asking you, what can I do to help you generate funds of, among yourselves? I want to give you a catalyst. I want to help you sustain your ministry in your own country. And I said, can I buy you some chickens, you know, to help you start a farm or something like that? Uh, the only thing I don't, I do not want to teach you how to just shake a cup your whole life. And he agreed with that. He thought that that was a wise decision. So he spoke with his church and he come back and he said, well, we've got a lady that knows how to sew, knows how to make clothes, and she can use one of those machines and she can teach other people. And so if we get some of that, we could you know, produce uh, some clothes and maybe sell that here in our own uh, community. And so here we are 
uh, a year and a half later after I met Thomas and a year after we had the fundraiser. Now, my friends, we have, uh, and, th- and we've got the business license. I'll show people that on another, uh, a- another platform if you want to, but now we have, look at this, the Billy Jones tailoring shop, a MOTC project. Now MOTC, this is the other thing. Everything, if you knew Billy Jones, everything he put out was either called Worship in the Word or it was called The Message of the Cross. And his daily, uh, you know, or multi times a week, you know, towards, uh, you know, during COVID and, and towards the end there, he was doing multiple videos a week and just call it the message of the cross. And it didn't matter what he was talking on. Everything was the message of the cross. First Corinthians one eighteen for the preaching of the cross. I'm going to show, excuse me just for a second. I want to show you something here. I'm going to show you two things. Hang on a second. I'm in my living room here. So I can do this quickly. I'm going to show you two things right here, man. This is so, I'm just so excited. We're just a little relaxed tonight. This was my friend, Billy Jones. Okay. This is my friend, Billy Jones. This picture actually, uh, you know, the funeral home uh, did the the background uh, different, but that picture right there, he's actually sitting in uh, a pew at Gethsemane Church on Blue Lick Road in Louisville, Kentucky. Okay. Uh, When Michael Small was the pastor there. And after his death, I had his, I asked his uh, brother-in-law uh, who does uh, some woodworking and stuff to, to make a sign for me. And uh, so he made this for me uh, out of solid oak. For the preaching of the cross is to them that perish foolishness, but unto us which are saved, it is the power of God. 1 Corinthians 1.18. And you know that Billy, Billy would... Everything he put out started out with 1 Corinthians 1.18. And everything else that he said stems from that. And he could be talking about idolatry, um, you know, uh, uh, repentance, um, you know, Holy Spirit baptism, you know, uh, sanctification, all these different things. And I'm telling you what, my friends, it all stemmed, everything, everything does stem to the cross, Everything does stem to the cross. That's why that's why our, our ministry shall never forget the blood. Because when Jesus shed his blood, okay, that was the, the tetelestai. All right. It is by his blood. That's one of oh my one of Billy's um one of my favorite songs of Billy's, by his blood. By his blood. And then the, the song that really helped me get through a tough time in my life, I remember Calvary. I remember Calvary, and and you can get uh, Billy's uh, music uh, on our website as well. We are continuing his legacy uh, through Never Forget the Blood, and we're so honored to do that. Well, so the when Thomas wanted, he offered to uh, rebrand uh, their ministry, which they were calling Evangelical Worldwide Ministries of Africa, but they rebranded to come underneath us and they asked to be called never forget the blood. But I said, you know, I said, how about instead we honor, I said, we will consider you, you're in our network, but I, I said, I want to do the Lord in honor and honor the vessel that introduced us. And so I said, how about we call this, this, this ministry in Africa, me, the message of the cross. And so now Within one year, within one year, the Message of the Cross Network in Malawi has 15 churches with over 1,200 members, hundreds of which newly baptized. My friends, this is cause for shouting and rejoicing. Billy, we did it, man. Your ministry has taken off. and Now you got your name on a sign in the front yard, man. Oh, brother. Your name is on a sign in, your, in the front yard, dude. My goodness. Hallelujah. This is I, I, like I'm being brought to tears so much because I know all the suffering that Billy went through. But now, not only did he receive his reward when he crossed over Jordan Stormy Banks, but now that, that seed that fell into the ground, my friend, 
has sprung forth like a mustard plant. And we're taking over not only Malawi, but now <laughs> crossing the border into Mozambique. Starting next year, we're going to be planting more churches. And I don't know if you can hear the rain. Uh, it is raining really hard out here. But I'm, clock. I'm thankful for the time I've been able to have with you here. Uh, once again, you guys, I'm just so blown away by this. Uh, the message of the cross in Malawi, man, like uh, God is just, uh, just exploding things out here. And now, uh, thank you to, because of your generous support. Now this ministry network in Malawi can begin generating their own funds to self-sustain themselves as a ministry and to begin blessing other ministries. Okay, so the Billy Jones Tailoring Shop now in production in the nation of Malawi, my friends. And there's the, the very first uh, product, brand new, I was able to buy for them uh, the very first uh, manual and electric um, you know, tr uh, uh, sewing machine there. So, uh, thank you. Thank you for your support. Uh, you can go on the website, never forget the blood.org. There's, uh, there's support links right there popping up. Okay. Uh, everything that you give into this ministry goes to support such things like that. Okay. And our, our, where we are, uh, providing a free, uh, elementary educate primary school education to the children of brick slaves in uh, Southeast Asia in Pakistan. Okay, we are running a Christian school over there. All right, and it is all because of your generous support that we're able to do such things. And so, anything you give uh, is tax deductible. Uh, and if you give right now, right now, uh, up until uh, December thirty first, if you pledge to give at least a minimum of $5 a month or up to $100 a month through the Facebook page. If you select the option and you click the button that says donate monthly. And if you choose a minimum of $5 a month, Meta, Mark Zuckerberg, Meta has a firm that they will uh, match your donation 100%. Okay. So if you give $5, we get $10. Okay. In order to do these kinds of works. Okay. In order to do these kinds of things and so, and stirring you up to do the same. Amen. All right. So we do, we provide Christian education and humanitarian aid around the world. So uh, we are receiving your year end donations uh, up until, uh, you know, December 31st. But if you choose to donate monthly through Facebook, okay. And so it doesn't mean you manually log on there, but if you need the link, if you can't figure out how to do it, you need the link, just send me a message or put a comment down here below and I'll, I'll make sure you do that. I'll tell you, I, I mean, it would be amazing if we can get, you know, if, if we can get a uh, hundred people to just give $5 a month, that would, that would do phenomenal, phenomenal things for this ministry, phenomenal things for this ministry work. And we'll be able to sew back into you by giving you uh, some products and some free resources. Okay. Just that we'll just send straight to you just as a thank you. All right. So uh, we want to be able to do that for you. Jeremy and the rest of you all. Hey, I just want to tell you until next time, my friends, uh, well, you can be checking out on the shop. I don't know. It just does something to me, but anyway, Hey, until next time, just see to it that no man steal that crown and never forget the blood. I love you. Bye for now.